Good morning. If you have any prayer requests this morning, please add them to the chat features on Zoom or Facebook. Or when you enter the sanctuary, there's also a basket outside. As we begin our time of prayer this morning, let us put our feet firmly on the ground and lean against the chair. Take a deep breath and know that in this place you are grounded and supported. As we begin our time of prayers this morning, I'd like to begin with our joys. And our first joy is for Mindy. We are so grateful to have her for everything that she does for the church, for her expertise. We have put together a worship service for July 4th that she has done an incredible job on. I can't, David and I both can't wait for you to see it. Um, So for Mindy, um, for the sweet little voices during worship, what a joy that is, that I've missed that so much. We're just joyful for Pride Month for all of the, uh, and for every month that we are blessed with our LGBTQ friends. We're, we're blessed with the cooler weather here in Colorado. And for these joys, we say, God, hear our prayers. <clears throat> this morning, we pray for Deborah and Sherry's friend, John, who would like a speedy and painless relief from this world. We pray for everyone grieving the death and devastation in Surfside, Florida. We continue to hold George Floyd's family and friends in our prayers. We continue to hold the friends and family of Wally Marvin in our prayers as they grieve his death. We pray for everyone that's been affected by the drought and the heat waves. We pray for countries where COVID continues to cause death and grief and devastation. This morning, we pray for David's favorite Aunt Loretta, who died this week and was buried yesterday. And we pray for his family as they grieve. We pray for Paul's Aunt Ginger, who is in the care of hospice. For all of these prayers, we say, God, hear our prayers. And now let us take a moment and pray in silence those prayers that remain deep in our hearts but remain unspoken. Holy Divine Spirit, we come to you this morning, some of us full of hope and faith, some of us full of delusion and desperation. We are grateful that you are with us no matter where we are. This morning, as we contemplate miracles and your mysterious ways, we are grateful for waking up every morning, for the flowers that bloom every spring, for the abuser that has put down their fist, for the addict who has put down the needle or the bottle, for the intoxicated person who chooses not to drive, for healings and cures, for a child who has seen a butterfly, for parents who hug their LGBTQ children and churches that are open and inclusive, for vaccinations, when an unexpected check shows up in the mail, when a friend gives timely and much needed words of encouragement, when an individual seeks community, for every God wink we see throughout our days, when hate turns to love, when hate turns to love, when hate turns to love. As we sit in wonder about these miracles, We also know that there are the opposite to each one of these miracles. And those moments cause pain and grief and confusion and doubt. 
We pray, O Divine Spirit, that you sit with us during these times when our grief is palpable and our confusion makes us foggy. We pray that you turn our grief and pain into spiritual depth and intellectual integrity, that you turn our fear into faith, faith in you, faith in humanity, faith in the universe, and faith in our community. And when we are lost in our grief, in our anger and confusion, we pray that you call us to new ways to transform our feelings into faith, into resolution, into grace, into love, and help us remember that our call is to transform our community, to build a house where justice lives, just as Jesus transformed his community. And we pray all of this in Jesus' name, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Creator, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.